Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Friday, May 27th, 2022. So my goodness, as we wind down this month, and it has been a wild and crazy month, we've had quite a little volatility in here. We had a big surge yesterday that seemed to be inspired on the Dollar General and, and Dollar Tree earnings reports, signaling that the consumers may be a little bit stronger than traders were expecting. Whatever occurred, we triggered a pretty substantial short squeeze yesterday, squeezing out any short traders, rallying strongly to press into resistance levels in the chart. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone thank you so much for being here i do appreciate it hope everyone is starting out their friday with a good morning let's take a look at these charts and see if we can um, get some information about how we may want to approach the market for today so first off uh, quite a relief rally yesterday as we pushed right on up here into that price resistance level of the chart. So now the question is, can we push on through that? Now we did squeak out from underneath this downtrend. So we pushed that bar above that downtrend, giving us that little bit of hope that we could actually produce a higher low and start to see a little bit more of relief in the market. So we do have that little bit of hope. One of the things we do have to pay attention to here though, that we moved over 2000 points from our low to our high. And what that's done is that's actually put us in a situation where we may have reached a short term overbought condition and heading into a three day weekend, possibility is we could see a little bit of profit taking it's also possible we could see them attempt to push on through that level and just close out this week really really strong so watch that closely here today it is nice to see that relief rally we were overdue for that now if those bulls can continue to push we're going to have a pretty substantial resistance level here price resistance level for them to try and work on and try and push through um, we'll see if um, the data today gives them that energy to do that or if we happen to see some profit taking going into a long three day weekend. If those bears find some reason to pick up and move, well, what we're going to want to be watching, I think, is this area right down through here where we've got this little higher low in here. I'm going to draw a level right across here. We're going to need to see us hold above that level. We might find some price support right in here with that accumulation of candles there as well. So watch carefully if those bears were to re-engage. And remember guys, even though we got this really big bullish move, our technicals here are in nowhere, nowhere near good quality technical patterns in the chart. And we are still way under resistance levels in the chart. So you want to be careful with this rally. Chasing into price resistance is a bad habit that can really cause quite a lot of problems in your trading so watch that carefully if we were to rest and pull back and hold that 500 day moving average as support that would certainly benefit things quite a bit just give us a little bit of a pause and rest hold in there and that would set up that bullish opportunity then where we could actually begin to uptrend and maybe push back up toward that 50 day moving average let's take a look <coughs> At our SPY here this morning, in our SPY, we have um, also that similar situation where we kind of squeaked out from underneath that downtrend here in the chart and we pressed right into some price resistance here in the SPY. So the question for today is can we continue to find that bullishness and push a little bit higher? And let's note that if we do push a little bit higher, we're gonna run into a significant level of price resistance just above that. So if the bulls find some inspiration to push up this morning, let's watch those levels up here.
if those bears come back in and or profit takers kind of say you know i just want to reduce my risk heading into the long weekend let's see if we can hold some levels right through the middle of this there's quite a little bit of price action in there to see if we can just kind of rest and pull back and that would set up that opportunity maybe for a higher low and some upside notice what i just drew there as well be a little tiny inverted head and shoulders pattern and that would be nice to see if we can get that resting pullback if you take a look at um, our technicals here in the chart also these don't make for bullish uh, technicals in the chart with tremendous resistance above so be careful chasing in particularly on a three-day weekend um, coming chasing in and buying right at price resistance because we don't know what's going to happen over the weekend and we could easily come back in tuesday and, and find us sharply lower so just kind of watch that closely maybe a rest or pull back in here next week would give us that upside opportunity to maybe try and attack some of these resistance levels higher in the SPY. If we take a look at our QQQ, now QQQ still is lagging behind. And although we had a really strong surge yesterday in the QQQ, notice right here that all we did was really push up into the downtrend. And we didn't quite make it up here to this price resistance level in the chart. So we're going to have to watch that pretty closely today if those bears were to come back in and push down on that. Hopefully we could hold a higher low maybe hold some support levels in there and we do want to keep in mind our technicals here are still extremely bearish notice our 50-day moving average now crossing down through that 500-day moving average that does not make for a bullish chart and with so much resistance above you're going to want to be careful buying right at price resistance heading into the long weekend and if we take a look at our Russell IWM pushing up here nicely yesterday and this is the first one to give us that little bit of higher low so a little bit more hope coming in here on IWM on the price action patterns but unfortunately we're not really improving things a whole lot here pushed into some price resistance in the chart we just kind of squeaked out from underneath that steep downtrend um, still some questions here to answer but if the bulls can push through we'll want to watch this price uh, level up here which is very substantial um, in that chart and then after that there's about a year's worth of resistance above so watch that carefully and if those bears do come back in for some reason if they get inspired well hopefully we'll hold some support right in through these areas right in here and not actually push all the way back down remember our technicals here on IWM are very dismal um, and pushing up into these resistance levels we'll, we'll want to watch that carefully um, going into the long weekend if we take a look at our uh, VIX now our VIX pulled back nicely yesterday but not as nice as you would suggest think after was such a huge move and what happened yesterday in this short squeeze a lot of that move I think was uh, short traders being forced out of the market rather than a whole lot of buying and you'll I'll show you that in volume here in just a little bit bit our volume ended the day very weak um, although we rallied um, so strongly so you'll want to keep an eye on this um, we have this upside trend we may be you know if you kind of discount that we may be trying to slip out from under that just a little bit here um, yesterday but it wasn't as strong a move to the downside as you would expect with such a powerful upside short squeeze and we do want to keep in mind that we're still holding in here in that 25 26 handle area where we could find some support and bounce off of that if those bears were to come back into play if those bulls can continue to be inspired today we'd like to see a little bit more um, fear dropping off of this and maybe pushing down into this level if we take a look at our t2122 this is where our problem comes in because we went from oversold to overbought in a real quick hurry here and as you can see we're up here at our bearish reversal zone at one point in time yesterday we were pushed all the way up into here but that uh, selling right at the end of the day brought us back down just a little bit so we'll want to watch that right now futures are suggesting a little bit of a um, a modest pop up here this morning ahead of this these um, numbers coming out but 
um, we'll want to watch that carefully because we could easily be in that bearish reversal zone and see some profit taking heading into the long weekend. So just watch that closely. It is nice to see that relief rally. We were overdue for it and getting the follow through has been very, very nice. Let's take a look at our T21. 07. Unfortunately, our T2107 didn't impress at all yesterday. Although we did improve 25-26% of our stocks uh, getting above that 200-day moving average, let's notice that we didn't even break the high of the other day. Um, still lots of resistance, still in downtrends here in the chart. Um, that does not make for a bullish um, market condition. Um, it does continue, however, to say that we are significantly oversold. So if we can find some reason for additional bullishness, um, we may get that opportunity to push on through. If we take a look at our T2108, however, we had a nice bounce in T2108. Number of stocks getting above their 40-day moving average came out at 33%. Um, yesterday. So that was a nice improvement. We did power through these resistance levels in the chart, which we needed to see. But as you can notice here in this chart, we've just slammed our head right into a tremendous wall of resistance. And we still have these major downtrends that we need to deal with. So not exactly bullish, but it was a nice relief. And then our T2101, you'll see that our T2101 turned back up here just a little bit at the end of day. We're following uh, maybe this little upside trend here. This is where the bears could maybe push back in and get that little relief um, uh, or um, a little bit of profit taking, not relief, but a little bit of profit taking. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. But I'm not really sure we're getting great data here because if I go back and we take a look at um, our diamonds, um, you can see that very light volume yesterday. So although we surged hard again, squeezing out short traders, our volume was quite light. And if you take a look, SPY was light, QQQ was light, IWM was light in that volume. So nice relief rally. I'm not sure I'm impressed yet. Um, so watch those resistance levels carefully in the charts. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. Our economic calendar, we've got a few more things that we've got to deal with, and I've mentioned these before. International trading goods today, we've been running in terrible uh, deficits in our um, international trading goods. And um, right now, consensus is expecting that to improve uh, for today. We'll want to watch that carefully. Um, we have had an awful lot of reports um, and we've ignored several like the GDP, the de durable goods, where they came in weaker than expected and we chose to ignore them and push this relief rally, which we really did need. But just remember, we're ignoring some negative data here. So keep an eye on that this morning. Uh, international trading goods, um, if that comes in weaker than expected, again, it could be a new record. And then we have personal incomes and outlays. Um, this has been problematic for us because we've seen where um, folks are not keeping up their salary increases and things like that are not keeping up with inflation so we'll want to keep an eye on that although our outlays continue to go up we keep spending more and more but it's just because we're spending more to buy the same products due to inflation and then if we take a look we've got one of my favorite indicators that's consumer sentiment we'll want to keep an eye on that at uh, 10 p.m. we'll get a 10 temperature read on how the consumer is actually feeling here. So watch that at 10 a.m. On the earnings calendar today, we have a really light day. Actually, there's like nine or so companies that are verified reports this morning. Several, several of those are very, very small, small caps um, that really are, are not all that notable. But the few that I did pull out here, um, we'll take a quick look at. Um, we've got Big Lots reporting um, today. Um, unfortunately, Big Lots, um, being a discount seller, doesn't seem to be gaining the same 
um, love that Dollar General and Dollar Tree had yesterday and looking um, at continuing to move in this downtrend on big lots. Um, HIBB uh, reporting today looks like a little pop and drop on the day. A little Must have had a little bit of a bullish uh, move in here. A little pop and drop coming in here in the pre-market. Watch that closely. Trying to break through that downtrend. Certainly not a bullish chart, but it is nice to see some of these stocks coming back up out of these bottoms. And then PDD is the only other notable for today. And notice we're getting a nice little move here, trying to push up through that downtrend. We had that little higher low. So watch that carefully, guys. I wouldn't chase it here um, at the gap up. Notice that's over 9% this morning. Um, a rest or pullback, however, would set up a nice opportunity in that trade. So keep an eye on PDD. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor. Once again, if, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful and helpful, if you could please continue to click those thumbs up buttons, leave those brief comments. It does help the channel to continue to grow. And, and I know it's kind of a pain, but I do truly um, thank you so much for supporting the effort that it takes to put out these videos every day. And I am also so humbled by the kind words and the kind comments that you guys leave on the channel. Truly, truly appreciate it. Um, let's take a look at some stocks that are setting up. And you'll want to keep in mind, guys, that these are not recommendations to buy or sell securities. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to do your own due diligence and be very, very careful because of this wild volatility that we see in the market. I think today anything is possible. We could surge on through to the upside. I think we could easily see a reversal and come right back down like we've experienced here recently where we just, you know, we pile in and then we, we run for the doors. So watch carefully for any circumstance here today. Um, let's take a look at a few of these stocks and remember you're going to have to follow your own due diligence. Make sure that they fit your plan. You should never ever follow anyone else's trade ideas unless they fit your personal risk tolerance and you understand those risks carefully. Let's take a look at a couple. Um, one of the charts that I've been kind of keeping an, an eye on here um, is FedEx. Now FedEx has had, man, a lot of volatility in it. It's been an ugly, ugly chart. And you can see we continue to move in the downtrend. But if the consumer is supposed to be as good as what those um, uh, discount retailers told us, then we should start seeing shipping improve. Um, but so far, just not quite there. We've bounced around here, but yesterday we had a good strong move. We broke above some price resistance coming up in here into that downtrend. I think maybe if we could get FedEx to just relax a little bit and calm down, come down, um, rest right in here, and then take that move up through that area of downtrend, then we might start turning this around. Of course, we could also pop straight through and then get that resting pull back in here. So watch carefully. FedEx might be one of those trying to come around. If you take a look at UPS, UPS is also trying to make a little bit of an effort here, trying to push up into that downtrend. So once again, a little bit of rest, a little bit of consolidation in here to push through or go ahead and push on through. Um, and rest and pull back. That could give us some opportunity. Now, this is going to have to assume that those consumers are strong. And I got to tell you, um, we just had a report on the 10th of May showing that consumer credit card debt hit new record highs. And um, we have record highs in consumer debt across the board right now. So I'm not really sure the consumers are as strong as we tried to tried to put on yesterday and, and, and suggest that they were. Let's take a look at um, one of the reasons the consumers aren't so strong. Take a look at some of these energy stocks. Um, energy um, just took off yesterday, um, pushing up above a, $114 a barrel again. Um, our fuel prices continue to rise. Um, uh, gas and diesel prices going up and up and up. And the three major metrics that measure 
um, inflation are energy prices, food prices, and housing. And we saw last week that housing, uh, or this week, earlier this week in home sales, that although home sales are starting to, to decline, home sale um, home prices are continuing to go up. So we're likely to see, um, even though we've raised um, interest rates, we're likely to see um, inflation actually increasing on our next reading here if these don't settle down here real soon. Now, take a look um, at some of these others. Uh, Devon, um, really, really strong um, breaking out. ConocoPhillips, really strong. PSX, um, lots of buying going on here in these energy stocks, and I think you should keep a close eye on them. One day here, at some point in time, we'll get some kind of pullback in these, but boy, it's not yet as these stocks continue to trend very, very strongly higher. You could also look at, and you guys know that I've been talking about UNG. I'm holding this long term. I just got, it's just been unbelievable um, in here. UNG popped up nicely yesterday, but finally at the end of the day, caught a little bit of rest and pull back. So keep an eye on this. If you guys remember on Monday, I mentioned the possibility that this was setting up for more upside. And there's that Monday candle pushing right on up. So as we come back and contact this trend, watch for that next potential opportunity to the upside in UNG. Um, B-O-I-L, I've mentioned this one several times, and on Monday po posted this as that potential right there as we moved on up, and now we're pulling back to test that trend again. So keep an eye on that possibility, not a guarantee, but a possibility um, natural gas continues to run in the upside as long as the Ukraine um, war continues. Um, lots of pressure being applied to natural gas, particularly in Europe. Now let's take a look at some of our food um, and defensive sector stocks that um, also have been holding up and recovering extremely well. This was this was a wild, hard sell-off here in Coca-Cola, and to just have it bounce right straight back up. And notice that we've broken through some price resistance levels in the chart. And if we rest and hold in here, that sets up that opportunity that we could push right on on out. So watch for that higher low to be placed in these. And we've seen that coming into um, uh, PepsiCo, um, pushing right back up to these highs. Now, looks like we were getting a pretty substantial uh, gap up and pullback here in the pre-market on PepsiCo. But watch this area. If we can hold this support, there's that little wedging pattern that could occur here. And that may have that opportunity to move back up. And we've seen that in a lot of these um, food stocks rallying back pretty strongly. We have also seen um, um, pretty substantial moves in the commodity um, commodity sector, um, ag products, um, corn, wheat, those staying pretty strong. Uh, noticing that we're trying to gap out here this morning, a um, little pop and drop in the pre-market, but watch that carefully in here as we move out here toward this trend. Clearly our food prices remain a concern for the consumer, so you'll want to watch that carefully. Um, you might also take a look at some of the stocks um, um, ag-wise. Um, we've seen um, John Deere finally coming back up out of a bottom and we've seen Caterpillar working to break down trends here. So if you take a look at um, a stock like an ETF like Moo, Moo has been coming up and we've made this first higher low here in um, these ag-related products and so we're trying to break these downtrends in here. Hold those higher lows. Watch for that opportunity and you can see it's not a pretty in inverted head and shoulders pattern but there is one there so keep an eye on that um, the the challenge is whether we will break that resistance right there in that chart so watch that we're seeing a lot of those ag related stocks moving back up um, because um, ag prices and food prices continue to rise um, let's take a look at a couple other places here one of the things that's been really kind of surprising to me here recently is the major surge in utilities and you can see here in XLU pushing up strongly here 
um, the other day pushing up and we're continuing to move to that upside and if you look at some of these individual companies in here they have been really really strong take a look at AES pushing up LNT breaking back to some resistance levels in the chart AEE pushing on through um, um, just a lot of these um, utilities perking up and that's something that you would think would be odd if we are really going to be a bullish market it wouldn't be the kind of thing where we'd be trying to pick up a whole bunch of boring um, energy or utility stocks but I think that's being done because of the dividend yield and those folks are looking for a little bit of safety speaking of dividend yield you might want to start keeping a close eye I've mentioned AT&T to right way options folks um, quite a few times here now take a look at what AT&T has done we've broken through some price resistance here in the chart now any rest or pullback in here sets up that opportunity this is a pretty steep upside trend so we may need a little bit of rest but one of the reasons this might be interesting to a lot of folks with market volatility and with the big banks actually predicting we're going quite a bit lower here in the market, you might want to keep an eye on something like this that produces about a 9% yield um, just by owning the stock. So keep a close eye. Um, we may be seeing a little bit of that defensiveness coming into the market as these um, these stocks uh, try to perk back up. So there's a few things for you to look at today. Hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. And more importantly, I want to wish you a wonderful three-day weekend. Stay safe, everyone. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Wish you all of the best.